Goat's back in my garage. You probably wonder why I'm back on this so fast. Well, let me tell you. The game was updated, and it broke all the saves. So <laughs> here we are in the game. I'm at the junkyard because um, I got to purchase a car. Uh, well, we can't climb this ladder. I thought you might be able to. And the coupe isn't here, and I definitely don't want one of these four doors. So... That's a little upsetting, but on the other hand, oh, what's this? Fuel line. Oh, it's six bucks. Okay. Uh, on the plus side, they gave you more starting money, uh, which I spent $10 getting here. So I think, because I don't want this four-door lot of business <laughs> that I've already had before. So I think, like, uh, what we're going to do is buy this convertible. And part of the reason why I want this convertible is just how haggard it is. Like, look at this piece of shit. And I think it'd be a fun rebuild project, I think. Um, how much does he want for it? Three grand. <sighs> well, we're going to buy it because I don't want a, I don't want a four-door car. And uh, I'm not a fan. And um, what are you? A hub. I wish we should have to crouch pick shit up, but we'll worry about that later. What's this? This is a quarter panel. Ugh. This quarter, this quarter panel's in good shape. I wonder if, um, jeez, uh, uh, this this one's gonna be a real project because it's it's all gonna be taken apart. So we're gonna head back after I tow this back here. Let me see here. Can we just tow it? Uh, tow to tow to garage. All right. So we're not gonna bother doing any of the little missions at the moment. We're gonna go back to the garage here. Um. And we're going to, eventually we're going to hook up the steering wheel to it. Uh, she is she is right haggard, eh? Like, <laughs> just right haggard. So I do apologize for having an episode so soon, but I wanted to get it back up to snuff, and I'm really enjoying the game. So uh, one guy commented it's boring, so go watch something else, bro. <laughs> That's all I got to say. <laughs> all right, let's see here. going to rinse this off. It doesn't got to be perfect. I just have to uh, get... Uh, some of the dirt off here. At least the windshield on this one's all right, but both rear quarters are shot. Um, like completely. Let's just rinse off this here panel. So I think we're basically going to end up replacing nearly everything. Now, someone said I could pound things up with a body hammer. Um, the dents and shit. So I'm going to give that a shot and see how that goes. But right now... <sighs> Just rinse that off. This this water does not look anything like water anymore. And this will probably happen several times over the lifetime of the game where they uh, break saves. I know the long drive's done it uh, over the time. Now, let's see here. Body hammer. We don't have a body hammer, but we have a regular hammer. Yeah, it doesn't allow me to, to bang this out at all. Whoa, okay, what did I do? Whoa. Oh, I can, I can kind of get some of the dents here. Look at this. That is a real noisy, noisy set. I think we're still going to need... I think we can pound it back to some degree. But I'm not sure we can pound it back all the way. Because looking at this hood... Eh. Oh my god we get <laughs> i don't think you can get it perfect or maybe you can is that just the inner fender well i'm seeing there just sticking through no it's like something else but yeah like this this one's just completely shot i think these two rear quarters are gonna have to come off i'm pretty sure the rear fender and the hood are shot so basically we've bought nothing it's just kind of a shell at this point um because look at this this doesn't line up at all anymore uh, with, with the body. <laughs> like, look at this. It's really, like, there's a gap there that I can't even explain. Like, that lines up. But nothing else does. So, does this even have an engine in it? What's in here? Well, the block's in here. Uh, check the oil. What? Okay, let's let's do that. Uh, uh. Yeah, that's not bad. <laughs> so I think, uh, I think we got to get it into the garage, but without, like, half the front suspension's missing, 
Um, so I think we're just going to have to kind of do what we always do here and just, oh, look at this. There's the, is this a fuel tank? I think that's a fuel tank in there. Okay, well, we're going to we're gonna do this. We're going to shove this back here. Get this all in the garage and see if we can't get her up uh, at least to the hoist area. At least in the garage. I think I can remove a lot of the panels sitting on the ground. Okay, this isn't working. Okay, it doesn't have any... It doesn't want to move forward here. Okay, come on. Now, it doesn't need to necessarily go on the hoist, but I'm just saying... It's because of that one wheel on it. That's why. <sighs> but at least this is a bit quicker than just trying to push it as is. Okay, don't do that. The jack handle's getting cut. <laughs> so I think we'll... Okay, then you know what? Just relax, bud. Relax. Re relax. I think we'll just... Uh, see if we can't get it over here a little bit. I'd like to get it on the hoist, but I don't see it happening anytime soon easily. Because you know how this goes for me. All right, let's just... Me, me and the hoist have a, a bit of a, a bit of a history here. Actually, that's not bad at all. <laughs> let's just get it up. Let's just watch out for that there. We'll put it up like this. I don't want to move that, but I want to definitely... <sighs> Get this under here like such. All right. We're going to pull this under that like this. And then hopefully this doesn't knock the wheel around. And there we go. I think I think we're good. Um, let's get her off the ground. And the first thing we'll do is remove the tires. Uh-oh. It's sliding around a bit. Okay, there we go. Okay. So we're going to get our wrench out here and remove the tire. So this should, like I said, this should go quick because I kind of got a better idea what I'm doing now. So we'll just get to that point. We'll take it off. This can go over here for now. All right, let's just uh, get this. Okay, now someone said I should bring the little table over. I don't disagree. Uh, I think you're right about that. So I can drop my tools on it. This one's missing its lower control arm. Look at that. Jeez. Okay, this whole suspension is just dinked um completely let's just take a look here yeah all right we'll just we're gonna tear everything off the car that we don't need let it all fall to the ground and <laughs> we'll go from there okay let's see here all right i think i think I, I think i want it up just a wee bit higher okay so i don't whack my head okay i'm gonna whack my head so we're gonna go up a little bit more okay all right, let's just take this off here. I wonder if I should just take the whole cross member out, maybe. I'm starting to think that might be a good idea. Okay, let's see here. Whoop, got that off. All right. Now, I'm not sure if these are any good, but I'm going to keep them for now. Now, I'm going to bring the, one of these little tables over here. I like this engine stand. We're going to have to use that at some point. But Oh, come here, table. Come, come here. And that way I can kind of drop it on stuff on there and I don't have to worry about it as much. All right, let's see here. I might have missed a bolt. Ah, beautiful. All right. So we got the knuckle off. And the suspension parts. Here we go. Control arm. I feel like the tie rod's got to come off now. All right, give me this. Tie rods off. All right. All right, that's that side, I think. Yeah, this is... I just got to get the... Okay, we got the spring compressor and get that spring out. All right, so, so far, this is going all right. But this is this should go, like I said, it should go much quicker than it did before. Because... I've already done it. Oh, I can drop the spring. The spring looks good. We'll keep it. For now, I think there's actually performance springs, so like lowering springs, so I might use those uh, because I can. Let's see here. Yeah, this should come off pretty easy here. All right, let's just get it off. Take that off. There we go. 
All right, let's just bring this over here. Okay, now the one thing I did learn was, oh, here you can move it now. Before you couldn't move it with the tools on it, so now you can. This is good. Take this off. Oh, we lost the, uh, we lost the uh, the brake lines here. <laughs> okay, <laughs> there we go. All right, let's see here. Those are brake lines, right? That's a brake line. Yeah, that's real rusty and shit. All right, so other than the shock absorbers, that's looking pretty good. Now everything back here looks a little bit dinked, so all this is going to come off. And at least it's mostly this, so this will make it easy, I think. Okay, let's see here. We'll just we'll start up front here, work our way back. Drop off, please. Thank you. All right, let's see here. Take this out. All right, let's see here. This is coming off now. That's off. That that should be... There we go. All right. Drop off, bud. Thank you. That one can drop off. Thank you. Okay. That can come off, and that can come off. Oh, God. Oh, uh, okay. That's off now. All right. Let's get our spring compressor and get that other spring out of there. There, got that one out. All right. So the only thing technically holding this on is the shock absorber and the drive shaft. So, but see how much faster this is now that I've done it once? Like every car is a bit different, you know? So I think it's just the... Uh... Okay, take that brake line off. Take that brake line off. I'm going to take the axles out while I'm here. That axle's good. And we'll get the carrier out in a second. All right, let me see here. So it looks like both these rear axles are decent. But this drum looks shot. So this is going to have to come off. Uh, once I figure out how to get it off, maybe? I, I'm not sure how to get the... Uh, Whoa, okay. Okay, whoa, okay. Just give me this give me this wrench here. I'm not sure how to get Oh, is it just those is those are those screws there? No, those aren't screws. There we go. Alright. Yeah, there we go. So this is off. This is junk. Um let's just throw this in here. Okay, wait a minute. That didn't work. Alright, so we're gonna junk this. For now, we still have seven grand, so we got lots of money. I just have to get... Okay, the carrier will come out once I can get at that shock. Uh, which I don't think I can reach from here. So we're going to lower it down. We'll get all the shocks off of it. And then we should be done with the suspension. This took us two episodes to get to this point before. So hopefully... Uh, this will be a little bit easier. Can we reach it from in here? Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, so where's my, my... Okay, I've just been dropping my wrench again. There we go. <laughs> All right. See, this is the problem that I have with games like this. Oh, God, am I moving it off the jack stand? I am. Okay. There. That should drop off now, right? Boom. Got it. All right. So this shock absorber shot... I'm thinking I will put all the parts that are crap. Okay, let's see here. In one spot, and then I'm going to try to bang this off with the hammer, because I didn't I didn't do that last time. It's one thing I didn't try, and I thought maybe, because, you know, I've done that before where you whack on it with a hammer, but. All right. Hammer I left outside. So we'll grab that, and then we'll junk all the parts once we have them off, and then we will, uh Get rid of all the junk parts and figure out what we need. Got it. Okay, so the carrier's off. All right, so this doesn't look terrible. 
I think it just needs a new everything. So, and then we get a locked... Oh, it's a locked differential, too. That sucks. There we go. All right. So, you can do it through the window. It's just... I think I'm going to have to move the bin. Oh, no. Oh, well. Let's keep it... You know, I'll move the bin in front of the window here and see if that works. Okay, I can't turn it around. Oh, can I, can, whoa, 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 whoa. What did I do? What did I... Oh, no. It's inside the building now. Oh, no. Well, wait a minute. What did I just sell off by accident? You know what, actually? I just sold off what was in the on the ground there. All right, that works, too. All right. It's okay. <laughs> okay, we're going to have to move this bin back at some point, but for now, this will work. All right, we'll get rid of this carrier. Oh, or so this uh, differential, I should say. Okay, here we go. All right. This is going all right. Okay, looking at it, it looks like this gas tank is shot. So I'm going to grab my wrench and see if I can. Like, it looks like there's only one bolt maybe holding that in. Let's just see here. I don't see any. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, God. It's still got fuel in it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Where'd it go? Okay, let's bring it down here. I think it might be still in the trunk. I think we're, we're pouring fuel everywhere. Okay, we're just going to pick this up real quick and just dump the fuel all over the ground. <laughs> Goodbye, gas tank. Okay, so I think, uh, let me see here. This is so broken here. Okay, we're going to get the, the hood off or the, the deck lid off of it here. All right, okay, look at welder. All right, let's see here. We're going to undo this, that, that, and this. We'll take this over here for now. All right. Yeah, that's that's pretty, like, look at this damage here. So this whole quarter is going to have to come off. I'm pretty sure this quarter is going to come off. This fender is, like, I can't tell if it's the, the grill that's out of whack like, the fender doesn't look too bad. You know what? Just, just take it apart. Christ, what, like, what's the worst thing that can happen here? Okay. There we go. Holy jeez. That was a process, man. Okay, so this, this hood's actually not in too bad of shape, I don't think. Okay, let's see here. Okay, let's uh, let's just strip her down. All right, let's uh, take that off. Take this off. And fall off, please. Thank you. All right. There we go. This is going a lot smoother than it did the first time through. Now, I thought one of these was really messed up. We may be able to salvage one of these, but I don't honestly know. This one is actually in pretty good shape, so we'll put this here in the good pile. How did this do anyway? Is this really rusty on the outside? Um, That's eh, not too bad, actually. This one, on the other hand, I think I'll replace just because of the rust. So we'll get rid of that. Boom. Now, I never had to take the engine out before because I didn't have an engine before. <laughs> so this is going to go well. This is going to go. Just take out these shock absorbers here. Bam and bam. There we go. <sighs> They're both kind of, well, the one's not, but I always feel weird about changing one shock, unless you don't have the money. You should do both shocks when you do a shock. All right, there we go. All right, so I think the radiator can probably come out. Radiator, please. Thank you. Let's take a look at this radiator. This doesn't look bad, so I'm going to hang on to this. All right, let's see here. We got an engine in here. We got, we take the grill off, but I think the grill is pretty, pretty beat up. So, oh, this whole thing, I just love it. You know, and we're just going to go real quick, take this out. Got it off. Okay, this may be all right. It doesn't look the worst. There we go. Take the wiring out for the battery. 
All right. This this doesn't look great, but I think it'll be serviceable, maybe. Okay, this is just a main one. You know what? Actually, I'm just going to get rid of it. All right, so... Now, the engine... Uh, I just got to pull the engine. That's what I got to do. I think it's the only way around this problem is to pull the engine. Uh, get everything out that I don't need. But will the engine come out is the question with all the other... With the... I don't know. Let's see. We'll just give it a shot. I can't see the engine mounts from here. I saw them when there was down. Bring it down. Bring it down. Off and... Off. Now we should be able to raise it back up and get at the stuff underneath here. We'll disconnect it from the drive shaft. See where that leaves us. <sighs> And see if we can't get the engine and the transmission mount. Okay. Whoop. Drive shaft. Oh, there you are. Okay. Drive shaft looks a little bit haggard, so we'll get rid of that. All right. So it looks like everything's going pretty good so far. Um, I can't, I, like I said, I'm, I'm doing this as fast as I can because I already did it once and I don't feel like doing it again, but here we are. Maybe I have to disconnect the transmission from it. I was hoping to take it all out in one piece because that's usually what I would do in real life. But we'll just we'll just give it a shot here and see what happens. Yeah, this is this is one of those games where I could just spend hours and hours and hours doing this and enjoying the shit out of myself. All right, take this off. Is that gonna pop? Pop. All right. All right. Now is the shifter separate or is that a like, let's see, is this just the top of the shifter? Okay, lean in. Lean out. All right, there we go. Gear shift looks all right. We'll keep that. It looks like we have A bolts there, maybe. All right, let's see. Uh, uh. Whoa! Well, transmission's out. <laughs> and the car pitched all the way forward. Gearbox, five speed. This one looks all right. Goodbye. All right, bring this down. Can I actually, like, buy a gearbox and everything? I hope so, because I want to have to go to the junkyard to find one. All right, let's, uh, let's pull this engine. There we go. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Bam. All right, so this can go on here for now. Uh... Is that going to stay there, or do I got to bolt it down? It looks like it's set up for a bigger engine. But it'll stay there for now, and that's fine. And it's got one spark plug in it. <laughs> All right, so the engine's out. The suspension's out. I think it's time. Where is it? Look, they added a label to the discs. Oh, cool, bro. All right, here we go. Time to cut some panels, baby. All right, bring this out. Bam. All right. Get, oh, no. No, 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 no. Where is it? Where is it? All right, there we go. I just put it in the table. Okay, there we go. All right, put this here. And take one of these out. There we go. And slap it on. Grab this. And let's... Uh, oh, wait a minute. Do you know what I want to do first? I should probably... Pull the seat out. I'm just saying, you know. Because it just makes sense to pull the seat out. All right, let's get the... Get the... Okay, whoop, just down a little bit. I don't need to be zooming in like that. All right, let's just get the seat out here. Got it. Okay, seat's out. Or it will be in a second. There we go. This seat is actually pretty good, so we'll hang on to that. All right, where's our... Grinding wheel. All right, so we're going to go up here, I think. Up. And we are going to look for grinding points on this crappy floorboard. Let's see here. Mm. Grind. Grind. That could come out. That can come out. That, right? 
Oh, we're on a disc. That's why. And when it runs on a disc, you can't see it anymore. So you're just kind of like it doesn't show you the little cutting lines anymore. And I got confused last time when I saw that. There's this one. And I think that just removed it. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. It's gone. All right. So this can go in the trash. Floor LC. Remember that. Perfect. All right. So we got a couple inner fenders here that need removing because they're crap. And uh, hopefully they're not, nothing's being supported by an inner fender. I don't see it on any inner fenders. That. Okay. And the disc ran out again. See, the disc runs out quick. I should really bring the table over. And I, I know these things. But, you know, the few seconds it takes to run back and get one is not that big of a deal to me. So, you know, we just keep going. Let's see here. Take that off and that off. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Which one did I miss here then? Was it that one? There it is. All right. So we'll put this back over here for now. That's the gas cap, if anybody wonders. Okay. So there we go. Okay. So that's that rusted bit out. All right. This is this rusted bit out. All right, so uh, let's see. I don't see. I feel like this this quarter needs to go, but I'm not sure. Like, can I can I just just? Oh yeah, like I totally can get rid of the quarter panel, can I? Like some of this is like really badly damaged. Like this side is is danked completely. Oh yeah, we lost the rocker on this side too. We removed the floor. Uh, but I think this rocker is actually in okay shape. It's just everything else around it's garbage. Like, where's the, where did I put it? There it is. Okay, so can we get this whole quarter out? Is that something we can do, or is this? I'm just curious, because... Like, we definitely have to remove... This and this, and then possibly that, and then this, at least to get that quarter out. And that whole upper assembly there for the, the convertible top is just really butt munched. Like, look at this. Like, this is just friggin' shot. Like, completely shot. All right, let's see. How do we get all this out? Oh, yeah, the disc is gone. Shit. That's the problem of doing this kind of work in this game is that you... Okay, okay, there we go. There's the disc. All right. If you don't pay attention, which is not my forte... Uh... <laughs> Take that out. This is going to have to come out. I feel like that's coming out. Whoop! Where'd it go? Middle panel lip. Yeah, look at this thing. This thing is dinked. All right, but I'm going to hang on to this, actually, so I remember the part. All right, so I think we're just going to have to remove this and this. Okay. And then I think we're going to need... Uh, we're going to remove that whole quarter panel, I think, because it's shot. And I'll, I can't even beat it with a hammer. It's so bad. Okay. Oh, there we go. Quarter's off. Quarter panel. I'm going to, again, I'm going to keep this part until I replace it. And that way I know. And I think this quarter's a bit dink too, but... I basically have no car left. <laughs> I have a transmission tunnel. That's what I have. Hmm. I think I want to try to weld. And although it's falling off the hoist, uh, I think it'll it'll be it'll be all right, right? Okay. Let's see. So what did I need? The LC floor, right? For the driver's side. Let's see. Body. It was the other floor here. Let's see. All right, so we got... Oh, we're going to need this. 
All right, let me see, let me see, let me see. Oh, here we go. We can get by both of these. And then, yeah, floor left coupe. Okay, I'll buy that. All right, let's go see if we can install that. I'm going to see if we figure out how this welder works. All right, so let's see here. Yeah, let's try this. We got a couple of wheel wells here, which is awesome. All right, take this up here. All right, let's just put that in there like this. Okay, so then it's a matter of well. Okay, this needs to go. This is just needs to go. Oh god, I keep bringing it in. <gasps> no, 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 no. Um, everything it runs over it sells, so we have to be super careful. All right, so where's the welder? There it is. So now what people told me, because it looks like appears to be a stick welder, and I'm an idiot. Um ugh. All right. Okay, someone said I should turn it on, but I think it's everything's just on to begin with. I think I gotta worry about that. So now there's these things called there they are. Uh electrodes. And this should be Yeah, this looks like for a stick welder. Alright, so here we go. Put you there. Hopefully I can still see you in a second. Pick you up. Drop you down. Pick you up. Can I? There we go. All right. Let's see here. Oh, oh goodness sakes. Look how sweet this is. Okay. There we go. There we go. Oh, yep, yep, yep. This is it's feeling good. It's feeling good. We got some of the welds done. Mm, sexy welds. Oh, my God. I'm so I'm so happy about this. I can't weld anything there because I have no inner wheel fender. <laughs> I have no inner fender. Oh, did it go back to the machine? Yep, it's still there. All right, so take this over here. So this is the wheel well left. Can I put this in without too much drama? Bam. No drama for your mama, baby. All right, here we go. Take this up here like this and grab this. All right, here we go. Here we go. Tack you in. And then can we tack you to that? Yep. All right, there we go. Oh, I think I need a new rod. All right, so that's fine. Let's drop you there. I should probably do this differently. Again, I understand I should bring all these things over here, but this is not how I work. Run back and forth a dozen times. Ah, there we go. All right. What else we got, baby? Show me what you got. Show me what you got, baby. Now, that doesn't look lined up. Is that all bent to shit, too, the floor in there? Or is it just the way it is? What am I going to do about the garbage can? This is a stupid idea to try to bring it right near the window. <laughs> okay, so we're going to need this quarter. Okay, dude. The fact you got to crouch down to pick everything up is a bit annoying, but that's fine. Take this over here like this. Okay, we're going to keep this. this is, I'm just keeping these parts so I know what to order. I'm not keeping them because I, I necessarily am going to reuse them. Um, some of them are good. Some of them are really bad. I should probably put this rocker in. Can I put this rocker back in? Or do I need the quarter panel for the rocker? I, I probably need the quarter panel, don't I? Yeah, I'm going to need the quarter panel for the rocker. So, all right, well, whatever. All right, put this over here. Let me just get all the stuff out of the way so I can move like my garbage can back outside. <laughs> oh, oh god, I'm in, I'm in the garbage can now. What the, what the heck? Okay, we're riding the garbage can. Yeehaw! Okay, okay, come here. Okay, garbage can. You're gonna go over here for now. I know I, I shouldn't put it there, but I'm not gonna buy a car anytime soon. So, someone's concerned I was gonna blow up a car, which he's he's probably right, or she's probably right. Maybe a she. I don't know. And down it goes. All right. Where it stops, nobody knows. Okay. Now here's where the problem is going to come in because I need to get this uh, somewhat under there. Okay, that one worked. Let's just slide this back under here like this. There we go. This should this should lift back up, right? There we go. Okay, she's balanced back on here. Where's my grinder? There it is. Bam. Okay, so this quarter is going to go because uh, we no longer need it. <sighs> and it looks a little dinged up. We'll get some new quarters on it. I'm going to have to take that off and this off. I No, I didn't have to take that one off, but that's fine. Am I, am I out of discs? 
Can I order more discs? Well, shit. Item store. Item store? There's an item store here? What's this? I never did go in here. Let me see. Here we go. I want this. All right. Look at this. We can buy all the stuff. What's this? Body filler. Hmm. What are you? Spark plug socket. New wrench. A hundred. What is that? Eleven dollars for a wrench. That seems expensive. This is good to know. This is good to know. All right. So we got more discs. I didn't realize you could do that over here. Well, I saw thunder. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Oop. Okay. This can go in the trash. Which is now staying out here forever. All right, so we need a new disc. There we go. Okay, this is better. All right, let's get this. Get this on. I said get there. Okay. Because I want this quarter panel out. It's this, isn't it? There it is. Flippity floppity. Look. Oh, nice. Okay, so that part came out too. Perfect. Okay, so this. Okay, this quarter panel's gone. I think there's parts on here that are salvageable. There we go. I wonder if there's like glass behind here or something. What is that? Door panel. Well, we'll keep it. All right. So this this fenders. This is the. The coops fend. Okay, this is all shot. All right, so, and then this. Like, look at this. <laughs> this thing is so mangled. All right, so we're going to go and replace these things. So we need two quarter panels for the coop and this, whatever this is called, a middle panel. So let's get that stuff. Let's see, car parts. Uh, body. So we need, oh, there's the middle panel, right? We'll buy that. I think it's these ones because they're convertible. So we'll get this because it's a coupe, right? All right. Let's see what we got here. Okay. 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 So we got a new one of these and we got one of the, okay. So let's go, uh, dude. Okay. Just let me pick you up. All right. Okay. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Bam. Oh, yeah, look at this. Okay, here we go. Okay, why is this thing always tipped over no matter what I do? So we're going to weld that to that. What happened to this inner fender? Oh, I need a new inner fender here. I totally forgot. Okay. Oh, okay, I still got stick left on here, so we should be... That's not bad. That's not bad. Is there anything up top I got to weld in? No, I don't think so. All right, we need more electrode. Oh, I forgot. It only goes so far. It's not like the hose where you can take it just about anywhere. All right. Okay. Let's just double check this. All right. So we're going to drop that back on here. Sorry this episode's taken so long. I'm just trying to do more because you guys have already seen part of this. So I want you to get to see some new stuff, you know? Perfect. Okay. Okay. I keep kicking my welder. That's kind of the problem here. All right. And welder. All right, let's see here. Bam, bam, bam. That doesn't look too bad, right? I think there's probably stuff on the top that needs to be brought into focus here, but we'll just drop it down a bit and we'll check it out. All right, bring it down. All right, well, that's not too bad. I probably missed somewhere, but we'll figure that out later. Um, Now for the middle brace, right? Oh, my God, dude, just dude, pick it up. Okay, sorry, sorry. I'm just having a moment. You can go here, right? This goes, oh, there it is. I saw it. I saw it. Bam. Okay, where's my welder? All right, so stick this in here. Okay, right through, right through. Okay, it's going to go right through the tail light, but that's not going to work. That's not going to work. Okay, just, oh my God, just stop. Jesus. Okay, just, why do you want to land on your top so badly? Like, what is that? All right, give me this. Bam. 
Got that. All right, grab this. We'll stick this in after we jack it up. So this is great, man. I love this stuff. Okay, jack this up. Got it. All right, here we go. Jack you up. Okay. All right, let's get this in here. Bam. Where's my welder again? Is it... Did I... Well, at least the welder snaps back to where it's supposed to be when it's done. All right. Okay, this is out of welder. So we're out of... Uh, a rod, so we'll get a new rod. Hot rod. We do stunts. Okay, here we go. All right. Let's, uh... Just looking at it, I would say... That that floor is relatively dinked. That rear floor there... Uh, cause you can see a huge gap there. Um, this might be a body hammer moment. <laughs> Where's my body hammer? Yeah, that's real dank, that floor. I didn't even see that from the top. All right, here we go. Uh, uh, that's, that's better, right? <laughs> it's never going to be perfect, but it's better. All right. Got that in there. All right, so this is good. I thought I saw another spot to weld up there. Let me see here. When I was just... Oh, I think I could see it through the floor was the problem. All right, so let's just take a boo. Oh, what, what was that? Is that a welding spot? No, I don't see that. That's not turning... Oh, God. Oh, okay. It's not turning green. The trans tunnel's good. All right, so we'll just drop this here. We'll bring this down. And... Boom. Pick this back up. Let's see here. <clears throat> yeah, there's one of the welds I noticed. This one. And then... Yeah, that floor is still a little out of kilter, but not terribly. Uh, like, look at that. See that gap there? And there's no gap on this side. I'm wondering if I just beat on it a bit with my hammer. Where's my... Get my hammer back. No, actually, it, it appears like it's it must be okay. So there we go. And now we need, uh, let's see here. Is that bent? Is that, that's bent out. That's bent in. Body hammer, please. See, look at this. Okay, so see how that bends outward there? And this one bends inward here. Causing this not to line up properly. I think we may have to take the whole front panel out of this thing. Because something isn't right here. Like, either this has got to both do this or both go in. It doesn't work this way. So we may have to take out the front inner fenders. Um, and just redo the whole front of the car. Is that even a thing? Can you do that? Right front panel. Those look like what I need actually now that i'm looking at it and then the front member itself basically i bought nothing because i've replaced nearly every part of the car all right so what i think it is now that this is just it's got to go this way just stop okay okay that's this is all right okay they were just okay are we still on the thing enough yeah we're on the thing enough so it looks like this was in an accident, and this is all bent over, and I can no longer bend it back. So I think the only solution to this, honestly, is if I cut out these fenders and the front panels and just replace all of it. And that re involves removing the front suspension. Like, this whole front end of the car has got to come off. L like, literally everything. Uh, because something ain't freaking right. It's bent all the shit. Like I said, look at this. See how this bends outward and this bends inward and the hammer won't take care of it. So I think we're going to end up having to remove absolutely everything. I wonder if I can just remove the panel and just take all the lights with it. I know these are good, some of them, but... Let's see here. Let's get that one. And that one. There we go. I'm just going to junk the whole thing because it's like these lights might still be good, but 
Who cares? It's just junk. At this point, I might as well replace it all. Oh, there we go. Because this whole business has got to come out now. All right, let's get it out. I was going to wait to another episode, but like I said, you guys have been waiting long enough. Uh, and when I heard about it patching and that it, it ruined save games, I wanted to get back at it. I know it was just the other day, but I wanted to get back at it so we could uh, get the car at least back to where it was. And now I feel like this car has significantly more problems than the last one did. <laughs> Okay, there we go. So we're going to just take that off. And that off. And that off. And that off. And that should take care of those. All right, so these are right front panel, left front panel. Uh, this should be an easy enough quick fix. So let's go order up a couple panels. We got the money, so we might as well do it. Dude, just I saw your little thing. There it is. All right. That takes care of that, but I got to get the welder over here to weld this on. Ugh. I only got a little bit of the stick left of this, but maybe we can tack on both sides so it doesn't fall off. All right, so now we need a new probe for, or a new rod probe, a new rod for this. Oh my God. Thank God that store is open 24 hours across the way there. Tack you on. All right, now see how nice and smooth and flat those are now? Yeah, that's what we wanted. All right, so then we can get the new, what is this thing called again? A front panel, or was it? Oh, I threw that away. Never mind. I just need a front panel. Tack that on. Let's see, front panel, front panel. Where are you? Uh, the grill. We don't need the grill yet. Front panel. Here we go. Now this will be this. All right. Excellent. All right. So let's just take this over here. Put that like this. Grab our little welder here. And uh, tack this on. Need a new rod. Jesus. I go through these things like crazy. I think that's all of them. All right. So now, so now we need to put the front cross member back. Was the cross member mangled or anything? Like, I can't even tell. Like, is this, is this decent enough to put back in there? Like, is it, is it straight enough? Never mind. Found it. It was just underneath and I couldn't see it. All right. I'm just an idiot. I thought it was unbolted. I was like, I'm going crazy here. All right, so that's in. So then I just need a front and left, front, left, and right fender, I think. Yeah, all right. And then we also need a driver's side door, but that's that's neither here nor there. Okay, let's see here. All right, so let's see. Front, left, front, right. All right. I've never called those quarter panels before. I just called them fenders. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. All right, okay, let's pick this up here. All right, put this on. Okay, and we'll grab the other new one, put it on. Basically, I've replaced every like the only thing original on the car at this point. If you look at it, is the back panel where the the lights and everything go, and then there we go. Put this in here like this. All right, just get that one, that one. And that one. All right. So, yeah. So, I got this cowl and the, 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 the window surround is original. That door is original. This is original. Although, I feel like it's a bit bent. Um, that's it. I'm even going to replace the door <laughs> to both inner fenders on the rear are, are rusted out. I'd replace that. And the floorboard on this side. We also need to replace... Oh, you know what's original, actually? Both rocker panels. <laughs> these these are original. Put this rocker panel back on. Forgot about this. All right, let's get this rocker panel back on. All right, let's go. Come on. We're going to put this on, and then I think we're going to end the episode there. Mm, how does that stay on? Is that is that welded in, probably? Probably, right? Oh, here we go. 
And rocker panel is in. All right. So that takes care of everything but the door. So let's just buy a door. We can put the glass in it later, but we'll buy a door. And that takes care of every single body panel on the car, right? Right. And look up. Door in. All right. Perfect. Still needs glass, but we can do that later. There we go. Perfect. All right. Let's take this up here. Okay. So that is the entire body of the car mostly done. Still needs a few bits and bobs, obviously. It needs this window. This is broken to shit. Does this window even work? I don't even know. Right. So we have the door panels and all that crap. But everything structurally is back in the car. And we should be pushing it back this way a little bit, actually. There we go. That's not bad. All right. So that means... Let's take a quick look underneath. Please don't fall backwards because you're really, really forward on there. Yeah, I think we're good, man. Like, look at this. This is all, all new sheet metal. A couple of gaps here that are concerning. <laughs> but whatevs. Okay, because, like, this gap here exists. I, I think this whole panel is just bent and i may have to replace it too but other than that it's pretty pretty good you know considering what i started with basically i bought nothing like i i could have literally built the car from scratch wait a minute could i have done that <laughs> could i have just built it from scratch <laughs> piece it together oh well it doesn't matter so i'm gonna leave this episode here so thank you so much for watching if you like this please leave a comment maybe subscribe look at this night whoa look at this Jesus, this clouds are very good for a game like this. And if you didn't like this, well, you know, or actually, if you did like this, leave a comment, maybe subscribe, maybe tell your friends to subscribe. If you didn't like this, well, sorry for redoing this, but it had to be done. You know me, scapegoat lover. Every view I get, scapegoat. I really rather enjoy this. Out. <laughs>